On April 20th, 1999, two shooters walked into the Columbine High School and opened fire. In the end, 13 people were killed and many more were injured. One of the victims' name was Rachel Joyce Scott. What started in her life as small acts of kindness has changed the world in many ways. Today at Alden High School, we're going to learn her story and how, after her death, she continues to change the world. But man, I'll tell you what, this world is so divided right now. There are so many mass shootings going on. There's so much more violence that I, I was living in Hawaii and enjoying my uh, little Hawaiian lifestyle, traveling from island to island, working with kids. And I thought, man, I needed to go back to the mainland and work with Rachel's Challenge. And uh, I feel lucky that they wanted me back. And I think it'll really just get everyone uh, more involved and kind around the school. I just feel like when like, especially these kids now, when they go home, like they'll talk to their parents about it and what they learn. And I just feel like it'll make everyone like, just overall be kind to like everyone. Like, yeah, I think it's, it's gonna be interesting, especially with the middle schools too, like what you said. But I don't know, I think it's gonna help all that a lot. I feel like all in like a kind community already. So I feel like this will make it even more kind. Um, I feel like this is just going to show kids that there's a better way to do things, that kindness is not only something you do, but it's a choice that you make. What is Rachel's challenge? Uh, so it's just to like bring kindness and make sure everybody feels included. Perfect. What are two ways that you can show kindness? You can sit with a new kid at lunch or you can compliment someone's new shoes. That's awesome. Thank you. So what is Rachel's challenge? To like bring back kindness and memory of Rachel. Yeah, to show kindness. What are two ways that you can show kindness in our school or anywhere? To like open a door for someone or like help them with their books, carrying out their school. You can just compliment somebody. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. How do you feel the first assembly went? I feel the first assembly went really good. I mean, a lot of people seem barely touched. Um, personally, I feel very moved, and like it makes me want to be more kind to like anyone and everyone. So it got me crying for real. So <laughs> I think it de definitely went really well. I know other people cried too, and it was very moving and very captivating. Yes, I'm definitely feeling very emotional. I cried. It was relieving. I really loved this assembly. It was so good.